Hey everyone. Today I want to talk about how to add an icon to your WPF project. Uh, for this demo, we are going to be using our calculator application that we have created previously. So let's go ahead and start. So in order to create and add an icon to our project, we're going to need an icon file. And to create an icon file, I'll be using a PNG file and convert to an icon. And for the conversion, I'll be using this ICO convert website. There are several others you can choose from, but I find this to be pretty cool. Um, so there are a few simple steps. First thing you choose your file from your uh, computer and then you upload by clicking this button. After uploading, your file shows up here. And next step, you select some of these uh, styles or shapes that you would like to your icon to be uh, styled. And then the default is icon. So that's, that works pretty well. Uh, or you can select different sizes here. And finally, I click on convert to convert the file to you know, icon file. And lastly, you'll download this link here and you'll download your files to your computer. I have already done so, so that let me show you what I did, I mean what I have. So I created these five icon files. And then I renamed the file names to make shorter. And then after that, we're going to open our Solution Explorer and drag and drop our files, icon files. And drop inside our project. So we've got all five icons here. Heart. This one is a circle. Mm. There's a little lag on my computer for some reason. Well, anyway, so we have the files in there. So let's go ahead and inside our window tag, we're going to add the, use the property icon and type in our file name. So one dot icon without n, it's three letter file name, I mean the extension. So one dot icon and let's run this. Okay, so that's our heart icon, beautifully lined up at the top left. Let's try others as well. Let's change the file name, go to two, we run. And we got our circle. Let's try the others, go to three, run again. And we got our square one. Four is also a kind of skewed square. And let's try four. And let's do it, I guess. All right, so. There you have it. That's how you add your icon to your WPF project. All right. Thanks for tuning in. Until the next one, have a good day.